you highly welcome my dear brothers and sisters out there i'm glad that you just clicked you know to watch today's message in today's message i'll be talking about apostle shaul so if you're with your bible i would like you to open up into the book of acts of apostles let's go into the book of acts of apostles chapter number eight because we need to understand and get a concrete knowledge about who apostle shaul is so that you will not be in doubt about who he is you know all these people trying to discredit his works you get it so let's dig deep according to the scripture to be able to see who apostle shaul is so go with me into the book of acts of apostles chapter number eight let's start reading from verse one it says, and saul was consenting unto his death and at that time there was a great persecution against the church which was at jerusalem and they were all scattered they were all scattered abroad there was a great persecution of the apostles of the people that were following yahushua there was a great persecution of the people that were following yahushua so listen to what happened the people now scattered you get it the people that were following yahushua they they, they scattered they fled they fled into different places you get what happened at this time you know, because these people are the people that what that believed on Yahushua, that accepted Yahushua. So what happened? There was a great persecution against these people that believed on Yahushua. Now listen to what is going on. And they were all scattered abroad. So as the persecution was so intense and so much, this brethren did what they scattered abroad. I'm talking about something that is happening within within what within the house of what of israel within the yahudim people you know between within what within within the people that are what that are that are the keepers of the law within the jews you get it within the jews so there was a great there were people who accepted yahushua but there is now a persecution on those people that accepted yahushua we're not talking about we are not talking at this time we're not talking about no um, um every everyone being one we are only talking about the people who are keeping the torah versus the people who have a newer way a, you know a higher revelation of things now so these people that have a higher revelation of things now there is a revelation there is what there is a persecution against them you get it now listen to what the scripture is saying you see and they were all scattered abroad, you know, because they, they believed on Yahushua. They were now scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. Talking about those people who did what? Who believed and accepted Yahushua. So there was a, a persecution against this particular people. Against this particular people. The people that believed on Yahushua. Now listen to what happened. In verse 2, and devout men carried Stephen. So some of the devout men, the people that were deep into what they were, they were devout, carried Stephen to his burial. And made, because he, he, he died, you get it. So what happened is, they carried him to, to, to burial and made a great lamentation over him. Because they lost him, you know, because he was, he was stoned. Because he stood for Yahushua. So what happened? They, they stoned him. Now listen to what, what happened in verse 3. And as for Saul, he made a havoc of the church. You see what this man did? So, Apostle Shaul, at this time around, he's not yet what? He's not yet an apostle. So, he made a great havoc. And this havoc, what was the havoc that he caused? He entered into the, every house and and hailing men, that is to say, drawing them out, and women committed them to prison. That is to say, he held men out, he brings them out from where they ran into, and he did what? And he commit them into what? Into prison. So he was causing a great havoc. Those people that fled, some people that escaped the persecution into different places, into different places like Judea and other places in Samaria, what happened? This brother now, this Apostle Shaul, now what happened is he went to them and did what? And was bringing those people and was hailing them, drawing them out to do what? To put them into prison. But there is something here, my dear brothers and sisters. You need to understand something. What is it that was given Apostle Shaul this morale? Why was he causing so much havoc? 
Why was Apostle Shaul so much active when it comes to what? When it comes to this kind of action? What is motivating him? This is what you need to understand. What is motivating Apostle Shaul to do his acts? Because if you know, if, if you if you are able to do what to know what is behind him, what is motivating him, what is pushing him to act the way he acted, then you will know why he acted the way he acted. You get it? So to able to be able to show you what was his backbone, what was you know pushing him to do what he was doing, I would like to take you according to the scripture, you know, to use the scripture to show you what was giving him the morale. To act the way he acted because he caused a lot of havoc in what in the church. That is to say, he persecuted a lot of people that were doing what they were following Yahushua. He persecuted them to the core. He caused a lot of havoc. But he did this for a reason. He did this because there is something that was giving him confidence on what he was doing. So as soon as he was doing it, he believed that what he was doing was the right thing. You get it. So those things that give him backbone is what I want to show you. If you are ready, go with me into the book of Acts. Into the book of Galatians. I want to show you what gave him backbone. To be able to be persecuting the early apostles. And not only him. Even the people that were doing his own time. A lot of, some of them that were doing that time. What gave them, what, what gave them backbone. You know, what was trying to propel. Them. Most especially, as in this topic, I'm talking about Apostle Shaul. What really propelled him? Follow with me into the book of Galatians, chapter number one, from verse thirteen. He said, "For ye have heard of my conversations in the time past in the Jews' religion. You see it in the, his conversation in the time past in the Jews religion now we are going to be identified and see what the Jews religion was the Jews religion was what was keeping the Torah so his conversation in the Jews religion he said that what how that beyond measures I persecuted the church of Allah him beyond measures he persecuted the church of Allah him you get it he said and wasted it he did all these things. Now listen in verse 14. And profited in the Jews religion above many my equals in my own nation. Being more exceedingly zealous of the tradition of my fathers. So did you see what was doing or what was giving him backbone? He was more exceedingly zealous in keeping his father's tradition. And what was his father's tradition? His father's tradition is what is the Jews' religion, which is what, which is the key, which is keeping the the what the Torah. So he thought that by doing those things, he was helping his father. He was helping in doing what in protecting his father's religion, but not knowing that he was doing what he was fighting against what against against Yahu, against Yahushua. You get it. So he was what he was so zealous in keeping the tradition of his fathers. And what was his, the, the tradition of his fathers? The tradition of his fathers was what was keeping the law of what of the Jews. You know, which is the law of which the, which Moses gave. You get it. So he was so zealous about it to the extent that when he heard about a newer higher revelation of things he was what he was so annoyed to the extent he now started going after those people that were what that were bringing a higher revelation of things and this is why he persecuted the people at the early church you get it so now let me show you something that happened in the book of acts of apostle because he kept you know apostle shaul is one of these them strict kind of pharisees that kept what that kept the Torah to the that kept the Torah the way they could at that time. So he was so zealous in keeping the tradition of his father to the extent when a higher revelation came, he never he, you know he thought that that higher revelation was what was in error that his father's tradition was the one that was right. So he was now zealous in what in bringing those people you know running from one place to the other trying to bring the the people that fled and put them in prison. Did you see it? So he was covered, his eyes was covered by what? By the tradition of his father, which is what? Which is the Ten Commandments, which is what? Which is the law of Moses. Now follow with me into the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter number 26. 
I want to show you something in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter number 26, to show you what he said himself, you know, what Apostle Shaul did and said from verse 4. He said, my manner of life from my youth, he was talking to, that. this is when he was being presented, you know, he was talking, he said, my manner of life from my youth, which was at the first, at the first among my own nation at Jerusalem, know all the Jews, you know, so he said that his way of life, his way of life knows the Jews, the Jews, them know how he lived his life. You get it? And how did he live his life? He's going to show us how he lived his life in verse 5. Which knew me from the beginning, if they, if they would testify. So he was talking about, you know, these them Jews, the people that, that knew him from his youth. If they would testify about himself, if they would testify about Shaul. Listen to what he said, they are going to testify about him. That after that. He said, if they would testify that after the most strict, strictest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. Did you see the people that grew up with him? If they should testify about Apostle Shaul, he lived as a strictest Pharisee. That is to say, the people who were trying to do what to keep the Torah to the teeth. The people who were trying to do what, who were trying to uphold the tradition of their fathers, the tradition of their ancestors so hard. So he was what he was a Pharisee, he was the, he was the strict keeper of the law. So as soon as he was doing these things, he saw a new revelation of things that was coming. You know, a new revelation about Yahushua. So he was offended because he thought that what he had is everything and now he's a new one i'm going to somewhere somebody you need to get revelation about who this brother is now listen to what he said so now in verse 10 i want to show you something from from verse 10 he said which things i did also in jerusalem he said and many of the same did i shut up in the prison so these are the things which he was doing you know he was trying to you know he was putting people in different places you know Having received authority from the chief priests, and when they were put in debt, I gave my voice against them, and I punished them out in what in every synagogue, and com and compelled them to blaspheme and being so now i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying and to this particular side of what of this scripture he said and compel them to blaspheme and being being exceedingly mad against them you get it so he was exceedingly mad against these them people against the people who were following yahushua so what happened since he was exceedingly mad against these people he took action you get it listen to what he said he said i persecuted them even unto strange cities he went all the way to samaria he went to different places to do what to persecute the people that fled into the places why was he doing this he was out of his mind he was out of his mind he was doing all this thing what he was what he was out of his mind because he thought that the keeper, the law, his tra the tradition of his aunts, his fathers that he was keeping is everything. So this tradition blindfolded him. So he was not able to see the higher revelation which came. And which was the reason why those tradition was even preparing him in order to do to get to the higher one. So because out of his you know zeal of what of protecting his father's tradition he was fighting against against the followers of yahushua now listen to what happened so something happened along the way you get it something happened while apostle shaul was all this you know because he was doing all this out of what out of, out of his mind he thought the things that he was doing was what was the right thing. Not knowing that what he was doing was, was what was out of order. And Yahushua understood this at that time. So what happened? Apostle Shaul at the midday verse 13. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven. A 
above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Shaul, Shaul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the brick. So you see what that this voice that spoke to him spoke to him in what in the Hebrew language. So what did Shaul do? You know, because this voice spoke to Shaul and he said to Shaul, Why persecutest thou me? So Shaul thought that what he was doing was doing what was everything. You know, he thought that he was keeping the Torah. He was he thought that he was helping the, the tradition of his father to keep everything the way it is supposed to be kept. But not knowing that he was actually doing what persecuting Yahushua himself. So this is why but Yahushua understood something about him. He had a zeal to protect the tradition of his ancestors. So Yahushua knew about something about this that he's going to be what an instrument for him. So what happened? Yahushua looked at Shaul and said and so what? I'm going to take you for some certain you know to be to show you the same zeal you used to protect your father's tradition I'm going to have mercy on you and I'm going to show you a higher light for you to use the same zeal to do what? To proclaim to the people about this new word of revelation, which is what? Which is he himself. Now listen to what happened. He said, and I said, you know, as soon as he fell and that voice, you know, and that voice came unto him. And he, fell, and he said, who art thou, master? And he said, I am Yahushua. Whom thou persecutest. You see what I'm saying? That Apostle Shaul thought that he was trying to do what he was trying to help. The tradition of his fathers. He was trying to keep. He was trying to protect the tradition of his fathers. But not knowing that he was doing what he was persecuting. Yahushua. Because it was because of Yahushua that even that those them, those them laws were given in order to do what? In order to point people to who to Yahushua. So now, Apostle Shahu, as soon as he was kicking, he was kicking all the way, left, right, every side. He was kicking with, with all morale, with all zeal against what? Against, against the new world of relation, against Yahushua. Not knowing that he was, you know, he was kicking against the church. Not knowing that he was kicking against Yahushua. Now listen to what happened. So Yahushua said something. He said, he said, listen, he said, but rise, verse 16, and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou have seen, and of those things which, in which I will appear unto thee. So you are going to see, you know, so now he is not going to be made an instrument. So this strict, somebody needs to get this. Apostle Shaul is a Pharisee, a strict follower of what of the Torah, the law, a keeper of the law, who was trying to defend. He knew everything. He knew all that he needed to know about what about the Torah, about the law. He was keeping what he could at that time to his faith. You get it? So what happened? So what I want you to understand, he knew the law. Very hard, very to the core. So now Yahushua now took him to be able to do what? To give him a revelation of he himself. So now when he had so now he has a revelation of what of the Torah so much. So Yahushua now used gave him a higher revelation. So what do you think? A higher revelation of what is happening. So what do you think this this man is going to be? He's going to be what a mighty instrument in the hand of the Most High because he will be able to do what he will be able to finish what whosoever comes in the direction of the law and he is going to do what he's going to bring lies to those people who do not know nothing about them law and he's going to bring to, to like those people who are trying to do what who, who who needed to be who needed to come into what into into Yahushua so anybody who is trying to do what to say something from the law 
Apostle Shaul is going to be used to shut that person up. Because Apostle Shaul is what? Is somebody that has a very deep knowledge about what? About the Torah. So he was an instrument to shut the mouth of the people who are trying to do what? Who are trying to use the law to say, mm -mm, I love my father, I love my master, Yahushua. So he took Apostle Shaul in order to do what? In order to use him to shut the mouth of all these them Torah followers. And did what? And gave him a higher revelation. That is why he said, this voice came to him in what? In the Hebrew tongue. So this, this is why you see a lot of them do not, cannot, they can't comprehend what the Apostle Shaul is saying because Apostle Shaul is trying to do what he's trying to give them higher revelation of what is happening because of, already Apostle Shaul knew the Torah so hard, so much, more than most of them all. So now when, whenever somebody is talking from the Torah, what happened? Apostle Shaul will shut up that person's mouth, you know, by the words that comes out of his mouth. Because he now have a higher revelation more than those them people that are that are trying to that are trying to keep them Torah. So Yahushua did what took him. Listen to what happened. He said, he said, you, I'm going to make you a minister and a witness of both of these things which thou have seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee. He said, De delivering thee from the people and from the Gentile unto whom now I send thee. Now listen to what he's going to do. To open their eyes. Ah, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness. You see, and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto Elohim, that they may receive for forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith. That is what that is in me. You see where it is going. You see where Yahushua was taking him to. In order to do what? In order to remove those damn people. This is why when Yahushua came and, they, you know, when Yahushua started his, uh, uh, when, when um, Apostle Shaul started his ministry to the Gentiles, he was bringing revelations about this, anything about them Torah, that people who were living in the Torah were what? They were marvel. You know, this is why even the king of himself, you know, those king even, you know, who was, you know, those judges who were before them, you know, he said, oh, that Apostle Shaul nearly even converted them, you know, into what, into his, into his belief too. You get it? You know, because Apostle Shaul was what? He used now the same zeal that he was using to protect them Torah, to protect the traditional, the tradition of men, the, his, the tradition of his fathers. He used now the same zeal to do what? To go for the work of Yahushua. And now you see people who are trying to describe. You do, you, a lot of people, they don't even know who Apostle Shaul is. He was a Pharisee. A, do you know what it takes to be a Pharisee during, the, during that time? Do you know what it takes to be a Pharisee? Now let me show you what it takes to be a... a, a, a how the Pharisees have been... Have been ah, let me show you one example of somebody in the book of John, chapter number 3. Let me just take you there briefly. John chapter 3, from verse 1. It said, There was a man of Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of what? Of the Jews. So you see, the Pharisees, the Pharisees, before you can be a Pharisee, you have to be well, you have to be well, you have, you have to be deep. You have to be deep into what, into the, into the knowledge of what, of the Torah, of everything that has to do with what, with, with the law of Moses. And Apostle Shaul was one of, you know, he knew, he lived a strictest. And what happened? He was used by Yahushua to shut the mouth of anyone, even there, any one of them that tried to come across, you know. He was handpicked by Yahushua to bring lights. To those people that were living in darkness and you still see people today who are trying to say that you should go and keep the law of Moses when, when Apostle Shaul is clearly making a reference that what that you need to come out of that place because it is what it is darkness keeping you under the law is like keeping you under darkness so they have to be what they have to be taken out of what that darkness into what into light and this was the mission of Apostle Shaul so what happened when he started giving revelation? 
So what happened? When he started giving the revelation of what Yahushua gave to him, all of them were not able to do what to comprehend that. Why? Because he is now on the higher realm. His knowledge is far superseded theirs by, you know, million times. So he was now able to see things that they who are still in darkness cannot be able to do what to see. This is why he said the voice that spoke to him spoke it in the Hebrew tongue. That is what that is a different tongue from what from the from the language that he used to do, he, he used to speak. He used to do what this apostle Shaul now when he got a revelation in the Hebrew tongue, and Yahushua spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. So what happened? There is a new revelation. That is to say, there is a new insight. There is a new revelation that came to him as a result of this different kind of language that he heard. And this new light is what, what is what he was pointing the people to now. So he was used as an instrument to bring those people that were in darkness into the light of Yahushua. And this was the reason why, you know, he's been, you know Yahushua chose him. Because he saw the zeal that was in him. He had that zeal to do what to uphold the tradition of his fathers. And now Yahushua saw if he can be able to use, you know, if he can be able to, if he takes him, he will use the same zeal to be able to do what, to be able to preach to the people with what, with this zeal that he had. With this same zeal that he used to do what to keep the tradition of his fathers, if he can be able to be used to bring, you know, to, to be sent to the Gentiles with this same zeal, then that means, you know, the, the message is going to do what, going to have a new, a new dimension, a, a, you know, the revelation of everything is going to be exposed and those people who are still living in darkness are going to be, are going to be exposed because this is one of them this is one of them who used to be a strict follower of the Pharisees a religious, you know, someone that has been you know, into, the, in, into their own game and now that individual is different so you that is inside this game, you cannot say nothing because one of your, one of your top men has converted, that is to say, have seen a greater light. So if you open your mouth to say something, he is going to do what? Be where he is and do what? And shut your mouth. And this is what he was doing. This is why when a lot of them see what Apostle Shaul was doing in the... Let me show you some of the things that he said, you know, that shocked so many of them as soon as they start hearing it. Listen to what he said. When you go into the book of Galatians, let's start reading chapter, chapter number 3. It says, you foolish Galatians, who have bewitched that you should not obey the truth. So now you see where he was going, that you should not obey the truth, no longer the law. You should not obey the truth. So he was trying to do what he was trying to uplift them up. You see, he said, before whose eyes Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach had, had been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn you, receive you the spirit of, of uh, the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. So you see where he was going. He is now trying to do what? He is now trying to bring these people out from the law into what? Into having faith in what? In Yahushua, which is what? Which is actually what the law was even meant to do. You know, in order to do what? To point you to Yahushua. So he was trying to do what he was trying to bring them into that level. So he was somebody that was what that was handpicked. Listen to what he said. He said, Are you so he, he said, This only I will learn of you. Receive you the spirit by the works of the law. Did you, you know, did you receive the spirit by doing what's all if you do something right, you praise yourself, or, or by the hearing of faith? He said, are you so foolish, having, be, having begun in the spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? He said, have you suffered so many things in vain, if, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministered to you the spirit, and worketh miracle among you, doeth he, do it, he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Listen to what he said, he was trying, you know, what I'm trying to show you here is that he was now bringing them into a higher realm. He was trying to do what he was trying to show them that those them laws that you were keeping, those things that were, that were they are simply things that were being made by what the things that were being, you know, for made for carnally darkness. It is not for the people who need what who need a higher revelation. 
So you need to do what you need to watch for something that was, you know, because those laws were so simply pointing you to, to the greater light. So he was trying to elevate them. He was big for a purpose, you know, for this purpose in order to do what to shut the mouth of these the people who were what who were Torah followers. Because he himself was one of them. So he knew everything about these them law people. He knew everything about what about these them law Torah followers there. So he he was an instrument to shut their mouth all and to bring a greater liberation which Yahushua gave to him, to the people. And you are here, you know, you are here, a lot of them, you know, trying to trying to kick up against 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 his message, against his teaching in what in the New Testament. Even some are going to the extent of saying for um, Apostle Shaul is is, is 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 not even apostle. It's not even apostle. Look, look at the way they are talking. Why? Because they cannot be able to comprehend his teaching. He's, he crushed them. He crushed them completely because he was well learned. He was into their system. And now he had a higher revelation that supersedes the one that these people are following. So when he was giving them this higher revelation, he now became his, their enemy. And this is why they, they put him in jail. They put they, they put, put him in, in jail. You know, they tormented him. You know, in, in they, they, they had to they had to they had to torment him in different ways because of what because they, they felt like you know he has what he has disappointed them. You know, because they esteemed him so high. Somebody who were able to go to the to, to 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 the to the high priest and get a letter to go and mod, and take people and put them in prison. Do you know how caliber he was? And one of a sudden he turns. He saw a revelation, and now this revelation was given him. What that was given him was to do what was to use it to do what to crush all these them Torah followers, and he did it. He crushed them into pieces. Whosoever raised his mouth and tried to bring things out of the law, Paul the Apostle will fire and then do what and crush those them preachers and you're here trying try to, 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 to say something against the Apostle Shaul. I'm here to do what to give you the knowledge of what he brought. Because before that knowledge even was, was there, we had this knowledge on what in us in built. This knowledge is in us in built. And that knowledge of what Apostle Shaul was trying to bring the people to is what I'm bringing to you here in this in this my channel. And I pray may the most I be the one to do what to open the people's eye, your eye, as what as he has opened the eye of Apostle Shaul because he was living in darkness. He was shut up until the greater light comes. He was shut up, thought that what he was keeping everything. He was keeping the Torah, making it on his own power within with his own power instead of depending with faith. And that was the purpose of this, you know, of coming of Yahushua in order to do what? In order to, to put faith in Yahushua. Because through faith, there's nobody that made it, you know, that had those things, you know, that, 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 that became report, that, that had report through what? Through keeping of the Torah. Show me one. Show me one of them. Yahushua was the only one that kept the Torah. Listen to what happened in the book of Hebrews chapter number one and chapter number 11. Show me one of them that kept it through Hebrews chapter number 11. I want to show you something right there. He said, He said, through now faith is the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen. So he said that what for by it the elders obtain a good report through faith and not through what through the law. Listen. He said, by faith, Abel offered unto Allah. By faith, Enoch was translated. By faith. He said, by faith, Noah, by faith, Abraham, by faith, you know, his sojourn, by faith, you know, so you see all these people obtain things by faith. And this same faith is what Apostle Shaul was trying to do, what to bring them to. Because none of them did this by works. It was by faith that they were all doing what, that they obtained a good report. They obtained good report by faith or not by works. If you are basing your things by works, by, by the Torah, you are basing it by works. And you cannot be listed among these people because you cannot achieve nothing. This is to give you the depth, the deep mystery of what, of what is written in the scripture. This is why I tell you, when you listen to people, you need to know what kind of spirit is in those people. 
Is it the spirit that gives you a higher revelation of, of what is happening? Or is it the one that is trying to still keep you in darkness? I'm here to give you the revelation of the kingdom. The revelation of what is written in the scripture to be able to elevate you into what into the higher realm of which Yahushua came here to do. That is why I say unto Yahushua is what everything points unto him. Faith is the substance, and that faith is the faith, you know, the, the hope that you put in Yahushua. Because through it, you're going to do what achieve what you needed, what you have, everything that you needed. And if you base your stuff on what on, on your things on works. Because you were able to go and keep the Torah and you go do your Shabbat and you go do all these things with your own power and everything. Those things ain't counting nothing. Because you already broke those laws long time ago. And yet to do what to give you the overstanding and I pray may the most high be the one to do what to elevate you like I said into the higher realm. The same way he elevated Apostle Shaul from what from this law from this, you know, protecting the tradition of his fathers into the higher realm of what of having faith in Yahushua. And this is where I want you to be in order to do what? In order to leave those those people, those them Torah followers who are trying to do who are trying to tie you into, into they are trying to tie you into darkness, not knowing what they deal with, what them what they are dealing with. They can't even, they don't even know where they are going. They are still blind leaders of the blind trying to push you into darkness. Elevate you into the higher realm. And that is the realm where Yahushua elevated Apostle Shaul. I pray may the Most High be the one to do what to give you the overstanding of his words. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahushua. Which is the word that was being spoken in what from eternity into this time. And this word came here and became flesh and gave us the revelation on how to come back to our Father Yahuwah. And through Yahushua, we get to the Father. So we are also the sons and daughters of what of Yahuwah.